Hey, are you tired of using the same old black and white flyer? Really looks old fashioned and kind of shabby. Doesn't represent your church very well. Well, my first tip for today is go color, right? Even if you go color though, it still kind of looks old. 1970s. Anyhow, today's tip, make it look awesome. So we're gonna do a step-by-step -step video in pages on how to make an awesome bus flyer, uh, church invitation, or even for your Sunday school class. Let's get right into it. All right, let's jump right into it. Here is a simple tutorial on how to make those flyers in just a few minutes. Step one, open up pages. Go ahead and get pages open. And I like starting with a shape. So let's start as a shape with a background. Now, obviously I don't want it black, so I'll change that color in just a minute. I like doing quarter page flyers. Now, why do I like doing that? Because I can get four for the price of one paper. And to me, that's just well worth it, okay? Now I have presets for colors. So I'm gonna go back here, select one of my presets. And I'm gonna come down and work on my border. I'm gonna do border first, go down to line, select that. I want it to be white. I like white borders and mostly because it's a print margin for me. Okay. Notice how all four corners are now going to be the same color. All right. So I'm going to add in another shape and I'm going to slide it just about like right here, bring it down about halfway ish. And I'm going to select another preset color that I like. All right, look, we're already looking at a uh, form, uh, and now let's do a filling. All right, all right, so we're gonna drag and drop one in here, just like so. Uh, let me show you a quick tip if I can, okay? I'm gonna delete that. Some will make the mistake of dragging and dropping it into a shape. The problem with that is it wants to become that shape. So you don't wanna do that, okay? So let's get rid of that. Uh, you wanna either drop it in the open space of the actual page, or off into the gray. So if you have shapes all through here, uh, then it's gonna to wanna to take the place of one of those shapes. So if you drop it off into the gray area, then drag it on top, then that works much better. Double click on it. Uh, if it has these huge borders like that, uh, it would be best to go ahead and take those down. So take them down to almost the right size of the burger, okay? Simple, just like that. Okay, done. Actually, I'm gonna shrink the burger just a little bit. There we go. All right, we're gonna do Burger Sunday Flyer. Ready? Uh, it's just that simple. There we go. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so it's dead center of that. All right, let's add a text tile. There we go, text. Gonna make it the full size of the orange. All right. Burger, Command A, we'll select the whole thing. Let's bring that up to 52, no, 51. I like 51, that's a good number, yep. All right, we'll change that to a nice bold font. Let's see, here we go. Ah, perfect, love that. Gonna make it all caps. So go to, let me go a little slower for you. Go to the little setting bar there. All caps, just like that, boom, love it. We're gonna come over here and press it to be center. Yep, and then I'm gonna change the color. All right, so I'm gonna select style. Oops. All right, still on color. There we go. So there, it changes the color of that. Let's drag that up. Starting to love this thing. That's already looking cool. All right, now we're gonna add another word. So basically, I just dragged it, drag it down. I'm gonna come over here to arrange and press automatic, change it to none. Do the same with this one. I'll show you why in a second. So now it can go over top of it and it won't push it. All right, we'll change this to Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, that simple. Now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna change the font. Let's see. Uh, yep, love that. Gonna change the color. Now color, go to presets. There we go. Oops. Preset. Click on this little suction cup there we go burger sunday all right right about there looks great awesome simple enough now that was easy right burger sunday let's add some more information okay let's do a textile bring it down here just like so and i like making all bold slash um all caps let me type this in real quick. Everyone is welcome to ride the bus. Okay, Command A. Everyone is welcome to ride the bus. Pull this up to about 
Uh, let's go see here. 14. Change the font. Let's go back to what we were using. All right. It's looking great. Love it. I'm going to change that down to about 14. And grow it just a little bit. Bring it over. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's line it up properly, okay? Let's put that to center, center. There we go. Change the color. All right. Since it's fully selected, if you just click on this, it's going to change the color for you. Uh, oh, yeah. All caps. All caps. I am an all cap advocate. I love all caps. All right. Let's bring this down to 12. Everyone is welcome to ride the bus. There it is. Just that simple. Now come up here to the text and go shape. Bring another shape down in here. Now this is going to want to run away from you unless you press on arrange, text wrap to none. Do the same with this one. Text wrap, none. Okay. All right. We're going to make a small square rectangle-ish here. And going to select on that. No, click it. And then come up to uh, style. You're going to press border, line, create a line. All right. Now, while it's selected, you can come over here. And let's see here. Let's go with fill none. There we go. And then the color of the border is going to be that brown. Let's take it down to about three. Yep, I'm liking three. All right. It's a little too tall for me, though. I don't like how tall it is. Let's bring it into about right there. Good. Now I'm going to hold the command. Sorry, the option. Hold the option. Drag it over. Make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Tap it down to match up. There we go. Like that a lot. Now I'm going to use the same font. So I'm basically going to click on the font. Hit uh, option. And that'll keep it to where it's still on that. I don't have to do the arrange every single time. Okay. Captain Josh. <laughs> all right, so we got that in the center because we've all, all those settings stay in the play, and that's one of the reasons why I like that. Okay, dragging it, dropping it. All right, see, so we're gonna do it again, Captain Josh, and uh, let's line it up with it before it. There we go. Put in the number. All right, and come over here. We're gonna use the same font. For right here for pickup and that way too you don't have to select all caps every time just basically you're copying all of your settings uh, and it makes it so much easier I'm gonna bring this font up to about 18 love it gives the number nice and bold all right we're gonna come back up to shape create a new shape bring it down here okay put it to the size you like it all right this will give the church information Love it. Double click on it and you can type inside. Okay. Command. Let's go ahead and change the background color. So come to style. Background color is going to be the brown. And the text color is going to be that. Command A to. There you go. Yes, 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 yes. Back to all cap. See how much longer it takes? Yep. It would have been so much faster just to drag this down and put it in there. But anyway, how's that look? Just quick and easy, and you already have a flyer done. Now, keep in mind you have all of those borders, uh, and they're perfectly symmetrical to each other. So what I normally do, instead of like a Command C and then Command V, look, where's everything at? They are stacked wrong when you do that nine times out of ten it's not going to work right so i select all of it okay another shortcut to that is command a and then to select every single thing right then you hit the option key and you drag it over and i like to hold shift so it will go straight okay then i like to select all again so like you can hit command a option drag hold the shift now it's going to create a new page. I'll show you how to get rid of that in just a second. Okay, drag, drop, 
there. So now all the borders line up as well. Click out of there. All right, so you're gonna wanna basically select this bottom area, hit arrange, make sure it's on none. All right, this it's basically gonna be this big square right here that's gonna do it. Arrange, automatic, none. Boom, disappeared, see? Okay, so it's just that simple. A quick and easy bus flyer. If you notice this border and this border here, are bigger than the outside one. Remember, that's taking up the space of two borders, the one for this flyer on the right and the one for the flyer on the left. So keep that in mind, the same with the top and the bottom, okay? You want them to be the same. So that's why it's a little thicker there, but that's why we do that line tool uh, to help with that, or not line tool, but the line going around the shape. And that would be helpful too. Hey, if you enjoy the content, hit the like. If you like our channel, go ahead and subscribe. And we'd love to be more of a help to you and your church. And uh, this is a quick and easy bus flyer in pages on your Mac. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Join us in the next video and bye-bye.